Alrighty guys, how are you guys doing today? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the iFlash Drive and as the name suggests, it is flash storage for your iPod Touch, your iPhone, your first generation iPad or your second generation iPad 2. Now, let me just put this out there. This is a very cool little nifty device. Not seen anything like it on the market till yet, of course. And by little, I mean it literally weighs just below 60 grams, which is pretty cool. And the dimensions are on your screen. Now, the hardware itself is pretty, you know, quite small, just as you would expect from a flash drive. Both sides have covers to protect it. So you've got one side USB and the other side is a 30 pin dock connector. Now the concept is really very simple. You stick the USB side into your Mac or your PC. You transfer over the files that you want to store on it, be it any of these file types, which I think is pretty nice. Once you have this stuff on the flash drive itself, you can use the dock connector to hook it up to your iPhone, your iPad or your iPod touch. And it comes with a free app, which is a pretty nice file management system and it will play your files, your documents, your movies, your audio files. Heck, you can even back up your contacts. As I've recently found that iTunes didn't do too much of a good job and I've lost, you know, quite a few numbers. So now I'm using this to back up my contacts, which is pretty neat. But other than backing up your contacts, the main kind of thing for this is, you know, having all your files and it's particularly good if you've got many iDevices or more than one iDevice. So instead of, you know, going back onto your iMac or your PC, especially if you own a desktop system, you're maybe abroad, you don't have access to iTunes. And if you are using someone else's iTunes, you don't want your files to mess up on the iPad. Boom, this is the solution. Now, the only downside to this, I would say, is the fact that you have to kind of import everything onto your iDevice first so it will not play it off directly off the USB drive itself but rather you have to locally import the files which you know I've tested quite a few file types and here they are on your screen I've tried you know a video file which is M4V I've tried image files uh, the larger files take a bit of time um, but generally uh, I think it's worth it so guys, if you've got an iFlash drive or any external backup solution, leave a comment below or a video response what you think. Are they really worth it in your opinion? But guys, that's it for this review. I hope you liked it. And as always, I will see you guys in on our life. Cheers. Looking to send a package at the lowest price possible? Simple. Visit parcelmonkey.co.uk. Follow these four simple steps. Have the package collected from your doorstep and then sit back and relax.